Me, by the way, rushing things. I expect yours to be even better. So like this is not rushed, not rushed, not rushed, not rushed, not rushed, but this very much rushed. This very much rushed. Okay, so this is what you do. You divide it in half. This is just so you have your different sections. Make sure it's nice and you wind up. Divide it in half again. And again. This is not going to be one final nice drawing or painting. We will do that, I promise. You'll do that in my class. But this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten individual drawings. Okay? Okay. And I'll write these on the board of what's expected for you to do. Color, I didn't have you guys do that. That's very obvious. Color, different from black and white. So the first one I'm gonna do is lines. And I like having empty spaces here because let's say you start emphasis and you just don't like it and it's horrible. Exit out, start emphasis again here, okay? So I, I'm labeling it right on that edge or I could do for instance, line on the other one and then point and arrow. Because I need to know which ones you want me to grade. If you're Xing something out, I'm not grading that one. This is worth 100 points, by the way. So 10 points, 10 points, 10 points, and so on. So line, you could almost draw anything and it would qualify for line because everything has line. So let's say I will draw an eyeball. Now, if I'm not sure how to draw an eye, I would just go to my Chromebook and type in photograph of an eye, and then I would start drawing it. I technically could stop there, but I'm not going to. I could, I wanna add now value to it because each of these have their own images, or sorry, each of these are its own artwork. Okay, because there's line here. But now this is me adding value. So really, really dark at the edges and getting to lighter. Same thing here. And now forever, I can say, hey, you did the elements and principles of artwork project. You know exactly what I mean by adding line. You know exactly what I mean by adding value. Or you should. Anyways. Now I'm adding texture. You see how they can overlap? Texture and hair, value in the eye, line by making the shape. Sorry, it's looking a little crazy right now. A little crazy, a little highlight here. Now, for your line, I don't want anyone to do an eye now because I don't want to feel copied. I don't like that. Use your own brain.
tear ducts. Now you're gonna need a pencil for this project. When you're creating value, you are going dark to light. So you're pressing harder and lightening up on your pressure when you wanna get lighter. Your eraser is your friend. Okay, so technically I have now texture, I have contrast, I have line, I have value, no pattern, form slightly. Okay, moving on to the next one. I'm just gonna skip one. We're gonna go to I don't know which one to do, shape, I guess. Now this is me rushing for you guys so you can get to work, okay? Now all of them do not have to be realistic images. There is a such thing as abstract art or um, non-realistic art or non-representational art. I just want to see that you gave it an effort. I don't want this to be line done, okay? No. So for shape, could I leave these light? Yes. But to have some contrast here, I am going to make this rectangle black behind it. And technically for shape as well, I just started with geometric, but what could I also do? Organic, Organic yep. And uh, the electric pencil sharpener is over there. You can use it. Okay. Any, I'm. In, this is not done. Any questions? So you guys know what to do. So what I'm gonna do is get you paper, um, and hopefully you have a